Well, welcome to Fat Wallet Productions and our presentation on getting rid of your cards and putting it into a phone. Now, I'm using an iPad today, so if I'm not looking at you, please bear with me because I'm still trying to work out exactly where I need to look to make the camera. Greetings to all of our entrepreneurs and thank you so much for actually uh, listening to my presentation today. The idea behind what I'm actually trying to actually present is talking about getting smarter. So we're talking about getting all your cards, the things that you use every day, which we still do unfortunately, and putting them into a more transferable, transportable type of frame. So we're talking about putting it into an iPhone application. From a purely social impact thing, we're seeing in the community now that people are using phones more and more. We know that now uh, the latest data suggests automatically that phones are being used more than desktop computers to access the internet. So we know that people are more in tune with using their phones or even laptops, iPads as we know, for accessing applications. So tapping into that, there is a community engagement already, which is a good thing because it means people already know that there is a technology out there. They already know that they can use it. So it's just a natural progression whereby instead of us having our wallet in our back pockets full of cards, we can transfer them into an application on our phone. The second thing I look at is from the fact that it's the technology that's been used before is a social enabler. People in our class that we've been talking about this very thing, and I know Jason, uh, talking to you today, mate, um, your advocate website was sort of, and you know your application for your iPhone app, you've been down this track, you understand the cost, the consultancy, and of course designing the app so that it's user friendly. So I could tap into what you're suggesting with what you've been through. And of course we also have you, Bruce, uh, Bruce Sexton there. Bruce, you've actually got a technology background. You actually have your own company which has niche type of applications, but maybe it'll help me. So from a social application, you can see there is an outcome there where I can tap into you and get your expertise. Uh, final financial costs, we know there is a cost, but there are federal grant programs including the commercialization program which allows low interest loans to get these applications off the ground. Things that can actually act as an enabler where if you don't have the money yourself, per se, you can get it. And of course there's an expectation over the time that you have this, um, you'll be able to pay that back. And of course, purely from a human cost, yes, there would be a, a developer, uh, somebody who can actually design these kind of things. I certainly can't, but I would look to somebody with the vision that I create, that they'd be able to transfer that into an application type form, whereby your phone would have simply an app on it. Okay, so if we have a look at on those now, they're apps. You tap on them, they do what you ask them. So from that respect there, we're just simply putting on an app that will enable the cards that are in this wallet here to simply be transferred across there. Now Colin asked us to actually say what the benefits are to the community. Well I can say there would be. Um, there's a number of things that we can actually take from this. It's actually making people a bit more savvy. Less chance of losing things. I'm not going to say that you can't lose your phone. Certainly that is the case. Um, but the expectation is also from a marketing perspective. It will make people more aware of what they can do in order to maximise the benefits to their um, lives as far as using phones to do a number of things like their internet banking, like their shopping at Woolworths, all those kind of things where you've actually got that technology in place. The next thing we need to need to have a look at is uh, the environmental impact. Now technology doesn't have as such an environmental stamp, um, the fact that we're not expecting it to do anything apart from make people more enabled and more aware. But there are things that are coming into our community now like the NBN, uh, the 4G networks, all of these kind of things that are going to actually quench our thirst for faster, more inactive, more enabling type of technologies that we haven't been used to before. So all in all, we need to be mindful of the fact of what it can do, how it can work, and the costs involved. I think it's got potential. I think it's exciting. I think it also taps into people like you and me who do like technology. I'm a bit of a geek. I like these kind of things, but at the same time for me, it makes sense that you are actually putting things together in a niche type product. It has the opportunity through enabling. It works well with the community, it's got social license, it's got some financial outcomes, there is a human capital element, but at the same time you can see that there is a networking and using the pizza people as your analogy there Colin, uh, a good opportunity with people in the community have done something similar. So therefore we are sharing ideas and not from the ground up, we've been working together. I hope you've enjoyed my presentation, I thank you very much for uh, uh, sharing with you my ideas at the same time. Enjoy the rest of your Easter break and uh, everybody else's presentations and I look forward to talking to you soon. Cheers for that. Bye-bye.